Teenage trespassers who broke into the city loop and brought trains to a standstill say tighter security won't stop them. A multi-million dollar upgrade is underway to install new cameras and motion sensors, but the young criminals say they already know how to beat them. In the city loop, trains whiz past a group of intruders risking their lives and bringing the city's public transport to a halt. These are some of the teens responsible, mates aged 15 and 19, who between them have infiltrated the loop more than 100 times. It get pretty scary sometimes. You never know if there's a train coming or not. You never know if there's police coming. You never know when you're going to get caught. They say they're just there to explore the 12 kilometres of tunnels. It's a really dangerous. There was actually this one time me and my mate almost got hit by a train. For the next week, I told myself I was never going to do it again. But, um... Yeah, then the addiction comes back. I'm not there damaged, we're just there to take photos. We go in, we take our photos, we walk out, we leave no traces of us being there. The risk of being seen by commuters or cameras walking into the loop from underground platforms is high, so intruders have found other ways to gain access. Some use stolen keys or they pick locks and then climb down exhaust vents which are scattered across the city. If uh, Metro uh, finds out that there are trespassers in the city loop, they'll, they'll shut the whole thing down. Uh, that can result um, in tens of thousands of passengers being impacted. It's reckless, it's irresponsible and it's criminal behaviour. Weeks ago, a $10 million security upgrade started with more CCTV in the tunnels, motion detectors and barriers to stop intruders walking through wind shafts between the tunnels. What we can do now is we can pinpoint where the people have entered and know that they're in one single tunnel and only suspend a service to that single tunnel. Metro concedes it's difficult to stop trespassers entering the tunnels, but now they can arrest them faster. We haven't just done this to prevent uh, trespass, we've also done it from an anti-terrorism point of view as well. Every intruder will be caught. But the boys remain defiant. Their newest upgrade with locks has already been bypassed. It won't stop us, we're always going to get in there. They can try as hard as they want, but we'll always get in there. Paul Dowsley, 7 News.